Today on Rear Spirits and Gear, we check out the new tube screamer from Ibanez. Ibanez gave the world a magical, magical gift with the TS-808 Tube Screamer. This is a classic overdrive that many, many, many overdrives are based upon. But the original king, the dad of them all, is the TS-808 Tube Screamer for these types of overdrives. Well, Ibanez has modified it a little bit. They've changed it up and they've added some things and that gives us the new Tube Screamer, the new NU Tube Screamer. Let me explain. So the new tube technology that Ibanez has in this Tube Screamer is an actual tube. It's a miniaturized tube in comparison to a more traditional tube like a 12AX7. Now the advantages to this particular tube is it doesn't require as high of voltages, so the power supply can still remain a nine to 18 volt power supply in this case. And it is not just a glass tube that has a backlit LED, it is a functioning vacuum tube. Now, the second thing that they have added to this tube screamer is a mix control. So you can go full counterclockwise for a clean boost and a full clockwise for full overdrive effect. Now, it should be noted that with a regular TS-808 style overdrive, internally in the circuit, it is not 100% overdrive. There is a 50% mix with your regular dry signal. So, if you want a regular tube screamer sound and want to utilize the tube tone, you would put the mix at 50%, and that's the traditional tube screamer sound. Now the new Tube Screamer is about 250 bucks in comparison to the TS-808, which is about $179. Now, is there that much of a difference? We're gonna find out, but first, you know, I, I have to put this in front of a 5150. I have to get it out of my system. Now that I got that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to compare the new tube against the TS-808. Now, to my ears, the new tube sounds a little rounder. It feels a little tubier. There's a little bit more compression going on and it's a little crunchier. The TS-808 is a little faster feeling and a little bit more top end and mids and a little less low end. So again, the situation is a pick your poison type of one. And also I will not be going into the 5150 for the playthrough. I will be going straight into my uh, 1985 Marshall JCM 800 2203 and there will be no processing on the amp and you will just be able to hear what each tube screamer is doing. So let's do a playthrough.
In summary, I really like the new tube. Um, I find it very, very beneficial for kind of more aggressive playing, but you know, if you wanna turn the overdrive all the way up and goose your 5150 or goose some kind of already gained out amp, it works very, very well in that situation. However, I do love the clean boost as well with the mix turned all the way counterclockwise. But overall, this is a pretty versatile tube screamer and I really, really enjoy it. I've been using it quite a bit lately and it's just a great addition to the many tube screamers that I already own. And it is a little left of center from everything else that I have. And honestly, I would say it is definitely worth the 250 bucks if you have that kind of extra scratch. All the pickable links down below in the description. You have been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Wow, another video gone by. Hope it was pretty good. I mean, it's probably pretty good. But if it wasn't, <laughs> <laughs> awkward, right?